Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put on the Clearview Next Gen towing mirrors on the MY21 D Max. Um, as you can see, we've already done the driver's side, and all you need is a flat screwdriver, a Phillips head, and a 10 mm socket. So now I'm going to go take you to the um, passenger side and show you how to take the original mirror off. So first of all, you need to come to this corner platform here where there should be a screw and then just simply undo it and then do that and then in here there should be a little um thing Oh, it's already loose. And then where you can just do that, it comes straight out. And then there's another little screw in here where you undo that. And then just get that out. Do this bit. Just put the screwdriver under that armrest, pull up. Pop that armrest up. As you can see, there's another screw there. We also need this bit up where the um, electric windows is. And once you get the screwdriver under there, and just run along a little bit by little bit. That also comes straight up. And then once you have those two bits loose, there's a screw here and a screw here. So we'll now go through and just quickly take them off. And that's it. So there's three, three screws in the door trim and one up on that little corner corner panel. Once we've done that, you can reach down the bottom of the, the door, give it a little reef, and the clips come undone. Once they're all loose, the door trim's loose, then you can lift that off. Now you can disconnect all the, all the cables, or well for the purpose of this, if you just lower it gently, we'll just let that hang there. Now we've got access to your mirror wire, and the three 10 mil bolts. So next step, you need to come to the um, cable here and then just pop that and then you should just be able to do, it, do that like so. And then if you get the um, 10 mil socket here, you should, you can just, um, after you've done it, you should just be able to do it by hand. And then do this one. And then and then, then you'll just do the top one and make sure someone is holding the mirror otherwise it will fall just like so and the mirror should just come out like that. So the mirror should come with some new bolts with spring washers and then you just get this with the wires through like so. And then you just get one of the um, bolts. And then just twist it. Just like 
so and then obviously tighten it so make sure you put the other bolts in and um again this are the new bolt these are the new bolts that come with the mirror itself and now that that's done you just So now you plug um, the cable in. There are some other cables, but they're just for other models. Um, so you just line it up and then push it until you hear the click and there's nothing else from there. Right, so when you're putting this door trim back on, just lift it back up and make sure there is a little lip underneath. Make sure that goes back in the, in the right spot and you can actually line it up. There's a couple of clips here, you can make sure that, that goes in the hole, which means you know it's in the, in the right spot, locked, locked in. Then just a matter of pushing that back on. And then putting the three bolts, uh, screws back in first. Um, let me do that now. One. That's two. One more there. This little panel simply clips back in. And you got, there is a little lip on the front of this panel. So you gotta get the front in, in first. Make sure the rest line up a little bit fiddly. Move that bit out of the way. And then these ones, once it's in the right spot, simply just goes down and locks back in. And the only bit you've got left is this panel here. Just There is more cables here now, just to make sure that you can get all them covered clip locks in then it clips down push this plastic piece into the door first make sure it screws all out There you go, then you can push the screw in. All right, obviously got both mirrors fitted up. The best thing about these new next gen mirrors is they're nice and close to the car and they're a lot small. They don't stick out like the original ones. And they got a two position um, setting so you can just pull them out to there, which is most enough for most and then you can pull them right out as well. It's got two two options, um, and it's got the blind spot monitoring and everything um, that this model comes with. So perfect. So we have now um, finished installing the next gen mirrors, uh, and the last thing before we put your tools away, you need to make sure um, all the mirrors work. Thanks for watching guys.